Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to Easy Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss about histology of the trachea. This is the trachea and this is the esophagus. So, esophagus is situated just behind the trachea. If we make a cross section here, this is the slide, include the whole trachea and whole esophagus. Within outward, there are four histological layer of the trachea. This is mucosa, this is submucosa, this is cartilaginous layer, and this is adventitia. You see, cartilaginous layer contain hyaline cartilage, C-shaped hyaline cartilage. The gap of the C is covered by trachealis muscle, which is made by the smooth muscle. Contraction of this trachealis muscle reduce the diameter of the trachea and relaxation increase the diameter of the trachea. Just behind the tracheolus muscle, esophagus is situated so food material easily pass through esophagus. Uh, so this is um, mucosa, mucosa, this is the lining epithelium and this is lamina propria. And this is submucosa contains seromucous gland, and this is hyaline cartilage, and this is adventitia. Adventitia means collagenous carnitive tissue. So, lining epithelium, pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. If you see the apical region, you see there is a irregularity and hair like projection. These are the cilia. These are the cilia. And it is pseudostratified because it is a simple epithelium, single layer epithelium, but the size of the cell is different. Some are shorter cells, some are taller cell. So the nuclei are situated in different levels, so it look like stratified epithelium, but actually it is a single epithelium, single layer epithelium. Some cells are shorter, some cells are taller, another shorter cell, another taller cell. So, nuclear level is different. So, and uh, one of the important uh, points to identify this epithelium, uh, nuclear level are different, but a pink area is separated from uh, this nuclei multi layer nucleated area. Uh, this is simple uh, columnar epithelium. Here, a blue color line is created due to the presence of basally place nuclei and a pink color area above the nucleated area. So, this is very important uh, points, a um, pink cytoplasmic area just above the nucleated area. This is the submucosa, sorry, another points, the lamina propria. Lamina propria contain uh, loose connective tissue. You see here the number of the cell is more in loose connective tissue and Extracellular matrix are less in loose connective tissue. So, lamina propria, this terminology frequently is in the histology and it's nothing but loose connective tissue which contains large number of cell but less amount of extracellular matrix. This is submucosa, it is uh, formed by the dense circular connective tissue. Dense means it contains. Uh, more amount of extracellular matrix but little cell and irregular means the extracellular matrix are arranged irregular the fiber collagen fiber elastic fiber uh, present in the extracellular matrix which are arranged um, irregularly and cell also arranged irregularly so this submucosa contains seromucous gland so obviously this is a mucus acini you see uh, there is a whitish 
area and nuclei are basally placed and flattened uh, due to thick mucus secretion and it look like white because during the histological slide preparation this mucus secretion is washward so this SNI always look like whitish and uh, this is uh, the serous SNI you see uh, the SNI are more get more stain than the mucus SNI and nuclei are oval and um, present in the center of the cell uh, because its uh, secretion is watery so this nucleus is not pressed um, basally this is hyaline cartilage the background is uh, bluish and uh, glass like homogeneous uh, there is uh, no irregularity and this is at the lacunae uh, is some small depressed area present within the uh, cartilage where chondrocytes are present and these are the collagenous connective tissue adventitia this terminology frequently is in the um, histology and this is nothing but collagen raised connective tissue so this is all about histology of the trachea